Okay, welcome back to Fun with the Britus, and we have a, I don't know what year, probably 2007, 2008 DME from a Mercedes, and this is an ME 9.7. Um, these were actually used in a lot of vehicles, C-Class, um, the MLs, just a lot of Mercedes. And then we have a new used one. So... What we're going to do, we're going to read the data from the original, save the file, then we're going to virginize, and then um, see if we can write the data to the new used one. So let's get started. We've got Mercedes open. We're going to go to DAS Manager. We're going to select Engine Control Unit. We're going to read the data. Okay, we're going to read the coding. We're going to save that. Okay, so now we are going to save the data. We're going to read it again just to be on the safe side. So these are all the key tracks and all that data and we're going to save that data. So we're going to and this will actually so that's the um, data. Actually, it's DAS. DAS data. Okay, so we've saved that. Okay, so now we're good to go on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our clip. And in case you're wondering, this cable setup actually is a pretty cool, it's called a Benz ECU tester, and actually I got it from fvdiobd.com. Um, they have a lot of cables and neat stuff. They actually have um, imitation AVDI, so I guess I shouldn't tell you about them, but hey, you know what, their cables actually work pretty good. Okay, so now we have the used ECU DME hooked up. We are going to open DAS Manager, select Engine Control Module. Okay, now if you notice, this one is actually not personalized and not, actu not activated. So this is actually already virgin. So, that kind of makes you wonder. Okay, so personalization. You're going to personalize related. If you have saved a file, press yes. Okay, so we are going to open the DAS data. Okay. So personalization is done, and then you give it a minute, and it reads it. And if you notice, it says the control unit is now personalized, but it's not activated. Sometimes we can actually activate it. So now when we read it, it'll actually show it personalized and activated. So now... Just out of the fun of it, we're going to read the coding. And you notice the VIN number. And we're going to make this. We're going to save that in the coding files. And if you notice, it saves it as a coding data file. Now, that VIN number ends in 7354, 
So now we're going to write coding and we're going to open up the original DME coding file. Enter the VIN, yes, program. Okay, so now we're going to read the coding again. And we're not going to save it this time because we already did. But you notice it changed the VIN number. If you don't do the coding on the DME, the car will usually start, no problem. But you will get ABS and traction control and issues like that saying that there's a VIN mismatch between modules. So just a quick thing to remember. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to read this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then I'm going to read the coding. I'm not going to save it. So now I just wanted you to see, see the key, the data and such. And I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I am going to disconnect the new used. I am going to hook up the original and I'm going to read it. And then I'm going to read the coding. And I'm not going to save it because I already did. Now, just so you know, when you look at the VIN number, you see it ends in 6688. And when we go up a little bit, it ends in 6688. Also, another thing, if you notice, the first key track ends in 041B. Guess what? 041B. Second one is AACD. -A -A. Our last one, key 8, is FAEC. FAEC. So it ends up where we basically moved all the data over. It has the same service key. So we're good to go.